Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming back to the Up Next uh, YouTube channel. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It only helps us make better videos for you guys, more helpful videos. Today we're going to be going over a very common question that we get here up at Up Next, uh, and that is, AJ, how do we get the Clover device back onto our Wi-Fi or onto our internet? And I'm going to show you now. So the first step that you're going to do is to see if it's disconnected from your internet, you are going to go over to register, and if if you see this big red triangle, the warning triangle with the word offline, that means that you are not connected to the internet. So let's get you back on. First step is going to be clicking the home button and then navigating to the app that says settings. Settings would be located usually at the last page of all your apps. So we can just click on settings and then we're going to select the first option um, on the screen, which says network and internet. Now, if we're going to be selecting Wi-Fi first, make sure the Wi-Fi option is toggled on. So you should see this greenish uh, button here turned on. Then we're going to select on Wi-Fi. Now what you're going to do is navigate over to your specific Wi-Fi for your store. So for us, it's up Nexa. And we're just going to put in the password real quick. Once you have your password in, make sure, because it is case sensitive, that there's any capital letters or anything like that that it would uh you put that into the password there then it should say obtaining the ip address give it a couple seconds and it will connect back over to your wi-fi as you can see there so that is how you connect your clover device back over to wi-fi so that's today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching the Up Next YouTube channel. Feel free to like and subscribe uh, to the channel, to the video, and of course follow us on all socials at Up Nexa. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.